Welcome to e Please, where music theory is simplified. This is for grade two. Write the given note at the same pitch on the given clef. At the same pitch on the given clef. Let me give you something that will assist you. Remember, when you write a bass stiff, this is middle C. This is middle C. But on the treble clef, this is middle C. This is your guide to answering this question. Because you are writing the note at the same pitch on the other clef, you should read the note in relation to middle C because that is your guide. Let's start this first question together. Now, this note here on the bass um, clef is, this is C, this is middle C. So this is C. So you have to look for middle C on the treble clef or stave and you will find your middle C here. Now, this is your first answer. You have written this note at the same pitch on the treble clef. Now, the next question here, you are now given a note on the treble clef and you are asked to write it at the same pitch on the bass clef. Read the note. Now, this is E above middle C. You know, middle C for treble uh, clef is here. So this note now is E above middle C. When you now come to the bass clef, look for E above middle C. Now, middle C on, middle C on this clef is here. So you now have to look for the E that is above this middle C because this note is E above middle C. Now, since this is middle C, you know, the space above C would be D. So the next ledger line is going to be E above middle C. This is where your answer should be. Before we do the next three, you, you'll get used to it. We now move to the third question. This is D above middle C. You know, middle C is the first ledger line. So this note is above that middle C. This is V above middle C. Now come to the treble clef and look for D above middle C. This is middle C on this clef. So the next note is D. So that is your D above middle C. Next question. You are now given a note on the bass clef and you are asked to rewrite it on the other clef. This is B below middle C. B below middle C because middle C is the letter line on top of this note. So this is letter B below middle C. Now come to the treble clef and look for B below middle C. So put your middle C first. You know, that's middle C. So after C is B. So this is B below middle C. Now, the last one, the note you are given is G below middle C. G below middle C. Look at it closely. G below middle C. Now, how do you solve it? This is G below middle C. So come here and locate your middle C first. After, you know, this is C, this is middle C. So this is C. The space below it is going to be B. Another ledger line below it is going to be A. So the next space below is G. So this is where your note 
would be. Now I'm taking this up. I only put that to aid your understanding. So this is G below middle C. Now on this tape, let me make it a bit bigger. This is G below middle C. So that's how to solve this type of um, problem in case you see it in the exam. Do not read any notes without the reference. And the reference is middle C. So you read your notes with reference to middle C from one clef. When you go to the other clef, locate middle C and try to locate the position of the notes. I hope you understand. It's not that difficult, provided you don't forget this. Use middle C. Middle C is the first ledger line above the base clef, and it is the first ledger line below the treble uh, clef. So if you if you don't forget this, you definitely uh, cannot have any issue solving a question like this.